The following feature has been rated F for family entertainment. Hello Nostalgia Seekers, and welcome to TMP Sidling Studios. Today, we are going back in the days of early childhood, exploring the world of toys. They brought us interactions galore, no matter how old we are, and still adored throughout the years. Some are like video games, where they challenge your reflexes, memory, or even rhythm. Others tend to be for fun. Speaking of toys, I do have a few intriguing speculations about them. From my top two favorite franchises, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius and Rio. The only toy currently found on my research that I greatly intrigue and yes, it is rare and expensive online, but I have superb luck when getting my hands on this outstanding gem. Is the one and only Goddard. Seen here is an electronic toy version of Goddard made in 2001 by Mattel. It has plenty of interactions within control by pressing buttons on the remote, which I think it is unbelievably fantastic and nostalgic. For instance, he leads in your command when one of the buttons is pressed at any time to give you the sensation of joy. That was just the beginning. The rest of the buttons I tested out made me ponder about some things about him. Listen closely. <laughs> Despite the motorized shaking, Goddard makes sounds based on what behavior you choose. The red button makes him bark. Normally I don't like dogs barking because they sound loud in real life. Some may be stressed or aggressive. However, Guard's bark is not that bad. He sounds quite cartoony and happy. Moving forward to the green button, that makes him whimper and feel sad. Honestly, that is how I feel. My ideas based on my interests do not come to reality in time, or at all, even when companies decided to cancel them. It really hurts. <clears throat> However, I still have faith for them, as long as they follow through the right path of company collaboration and format. Our reward will be happiness and nostalgia for life. So, I would most likely avoid pressing the green button for a while. But what about the purple one? Sheesh! That's even worse than the Parker whimper. The growling from guard reminds me of confrontations galore. I absolutely hate them! I am not pressing the purple button ever again. It's intolerable! <clears throat> now, that does not mean I hate Goddard. There's one more button I have not pressed yet, which happens to be my favorite color, blue. Well, what an adorable combination. This is one reason that I chose Goddard as my top favorite electronic toy, his joyful panting. It is way better than any other sounds he makes in my opinion. 
I have been studying various panting sounds from dogs on my research, most of which they sound exhausted, stressed, or unhealthy in real life. I don't like them to be honest. I might think there are bad signs. The ones in cartoons, on the other hand, sound healthier and joyful. They make me adore them even more. Although, some might be over-exaggerated for cartoon pleasures. Too crazy, if you ask me. If I happen to find one of those dogs with joyful panting sounds, as long as they do not sound too quiet, dull, exhausted, stressed, unhealthy, or cartoonish, my heart will be filled with joy and cuteness galore. The same applies to the facial expressions. Besides, everyone does have different opinions of what sounds they like on dogs. One may say barking is the best and called it a day. The other loves them to howl. This is where I initiate speculations for Goddard. As you can see, I made a PowerPoint project about a video game for the PC and mobile devices where the player interacts with Goddard. The free play mode allows the player to move Goddard as long as he's within the camera frame. Speaking of which, it can zoom the camera in for an up close shot to his face as a maximum, or out for a full shot of the background. In addition, it can voice Goddard with a microphone, as well as a set of other individual commands. I came up with 12 for this example, with various sound effects and facial expressions played in a synchronized fashion when pressed. Furthermore, one to three buttons can be customized for a combo of the original commands depending on how you want Goddard to express in sound. For extra entertainment, different sounds and animations will play each time you press the command buttons. I also did a project about the toy version of Goddard. It has less commands unlike the game application but it will still be programmed with different sound effects each time you press a command or a combo. Switching gears, I noticed about the brand new design of Goddard in an upcoming reboot of Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius. It turned out to be... way less nostalgic in my opinion. I assume this, as well as the planned reboot, could be fake. I got used to seeing 3D animation, because the 2D format seems unsuitable, even for a Nicktoon like this. Comparing the two Goddards, the original one was much better. Same story with Jimmy Neutron himself. This proves that the overall winner is the original by a landslide. If Nickelodeon plans to reboot the Jimmy Neutron show, I wish they make the one like this. It is reasonably more pleasant, and I am sure the fans will love the franchise even more with those types of graphics, including the other characters. That said, customizable skins tend to be a favorite among modern day gamers. Therefore, adding them to the game application of Goddard would be a stellar idea in addition with the toy versions, the original design being set as a default. By the way, if you think the reboot turns out to be good when it comes out, please comment below and let me know. Since Mattel made the previous toy version of Goddard, I wish for this company to make a brand new one in addition with the game application with important descriptions I mentioned earlier. That goes the same with... Luis. Luis will play similar roles as Goddard. However, some of his commands are completely different. Since he talks in movies, he uses catchphrases, no microphone required. By the looks and personality of this slobbery bulldog friend, he has an outgoing sensation to party. Both will have customizable skins and landscape slash ambient music appropriate to theme within their respective game applications. In addition, 
they'll have a game that tests your memory skills with their respective basic commands on both. There will be three levels to choose from. Level 1 goes up to 5 commands, up to 10 on level 2, and up to a maximum score of 25 on level 3. This reminds me of the Jimmy Neutron New Dog Old Tricks game online, but this will be next level. Their bonus games are completely different, however. For example, Goddard's mechanical puzzle game teaches the player to assemble Goddard's parts and pipes in the correct areas inside his body. For more fun, Goddard will provide you feedback with his dog behaviors depending on how well the fusion flow and parts connected are. In contrast, Luis is more of a party goer. His Sama Dance game tests the player's rhythm and flow by pressing the arrows on the keyboard or swiping your finger on the touchscreen within the indicated area while feeling the juicy Samba vibe of the music. Like Goddard, Luis will provide you feedback, whether by talking or using his dog behaviors, depending on how good you play. Each of their respective bonus games have 15 levels to complete. Their toy versions, on the other hand, only have one game mode for each. Goddard, with a memory game, same format as the game application, only with fewer commands. And Luis, with the Sama Dance game, using the command buttons, joystick, and remote motions, containing three levels of difficulty. These will also contain the free play mode, where the player uses the commands anytime it wants to. Finally, both will have the pad and play mode in their respective game applications, where the player reacts to their happy dog behaviors whether by petting or fetching treats slash toys appropriate to their themes at any time without any responsibilities. They are kids slash family video games after all. Of course, in real life, we all need to take care of our pets every now and then, if we happen to have any. However, if the game applications were time simulated, not paying attention to pets for a long period of time, guilt trips will happen. I have seen them before in various pet simulation game titles. They are cruel slash unusual punishments. Nobody wants to experience those horrible results in games, and I mean it! I rated those games at a ninth difficulty level because of it. Now, remember, the games for Goddard, Luis, and other cartoon animals selected will be arcade slash interaction based instead of being time simulated for maximum enjoyment. Therefore, they shall be rated between levels 1 to 5, depending on the franchise. Video games on phones slash tablets seem popular to modern day players nowadays. The CD-ROM game disc for PCs were most likely outdated. That said, I wish Mattel would make the iActive games for Goddard, Luis, and other characters selected on a disc format within newer platforms of Windows and other computer companies. I still love collecting outdated game discs. Once they are purchased, especially with speculated titles like this one, I hope nothing else happens and let me enjoy and keep them forever. Even though downloadable games do not last forever, I still wanted them to make the series for mobile devices. There are some restrictions, however. If the player decides to purchase the game for free, only the free play mode is accessible. To unlock other modes, you must make a proper purchase and have a Mattel subscription. On the flip side, unlike the PC version, you may be rewarded with something. When you 100% one of the games within the iActive series, that's up to Mattel's decision. Voice talent is another important feature to have. They will boost fun, excitement, and nostalgia to many players for the upcoming iActive game series. Goddard will be voiced by Frank Welker 
for fitting well with his character throughout the movie and TV show episodes. He is an outstanding animal impressionist, after all. Luis, on the other hand, probably needs two voice actors. One as Tracy Morgan for fitting his character well throughout two Rio movies. And the other, whoever does the best Bulldog impression. Might sound less cartoonish than Goddard's, but I hope it turns out well. The same format applies to their own big game titles for the following consoles, along with other respective companies that I think will do well. So, what other animals do you want to see in the brand new iActive game series? It could be other dogs, cats, birds, who knows? Maybe dolphins? Maybe other animals from certain franchises? It does not matter, as long as they are family entertainment related. Thank you for your attention and watching this video. We'll see you next time as we unveil the hidden wonders of Destination Nostalgia. And remember... Subscribe to TMP Cyberlink Studios on YouTube.